So guys, welcome back to the Face Program Automation. I'm Pranav here. Again, uh, I will be taking you for a journey for the with the Playwright BDT. Okay, I hope you like uh, the previous session. And if you have any issue with uh, setting up this particular project or anything, uh, let me know. I have uh, thoroughly explained you how to set up this project and everything. So if you guys are new here, please go and re-watch uh, my previous uh, video, which is on Playwright PDD. And I'm also providing uh, many uh, Playwright related things. If you have any question, uh, you can let me know in the comment section. So thank you guys uh, for coming to the test for automation. And yes, as per our goal, what we're going to do, we have to take these two feature file, uh, feature file and step.js file to our test column, right? So let's see how we can achieve this, right? So I will just going to drag this to and ecom step. Oh, sorry, ecom step. So these both uh, files are under our test column. So let's go back to our config.js file. Okay, so guys, uh, as, as you can see, we have already defined our path and required is looking fine as when we move this particular, uh, these two files inside our test column, uh, the VS code has automatically changed this. Uh, and if it is for, if in your case, it doesn't change, then try to uh, give it correct path and correct require over here. Okay. And I have thoroughly explained about this particular feature, uh, feature gen test. Uh, okay. So if you can see what is happening, this is auto generated by the, uh, by this particular, um, library. I will just going to co come here and folder. Okay. And now what I will do, I will go back to my, uh, just for a prerequisite in the package.json file. What I have done, I have given this to script, uh, in my package.json file. So I don't have to, uh, uh, so I don't have to type the whole script inside my command line. So I've just given this to script over here for your prerequisite. And one more thing is in ecom step, if you are not importing this expect block from playwright test, then it will give an error. I think la uh, in my last lecture, I missed this particular, uh, particular step. Um, but still it was, uh, it was fine. So yeah, please try to give this particular expect block inside our player, uh, coming from playwright test, right? Okay. And now what we're going to do is under config.js file, everything looks fine. Everything looks fine. Okay. Now let's do one thing. Let's just give this to command saying npm bdd gen and npm playwright test. And you guys might notice here, there will be uh, one more uh, package will be created automatically by the playwright bdd frame, uh, bdd library. Okay. So let's rerun this particular, this to command and check our test case is running fine. Okay, okay, we did it, but let's see if it is uh, not giving us an any error. Okay, the uh, test cases are running, everything looks fine, right? Verify the login, verify the user is able to log in, okay? Navigate to the ecom login page, verify the user is logging with the correct credentials, right? Everything looks fine, our test case got passed, let's go and check the show report, okay? Everything looks fine. Okay, let's do one thing now. Uh, come to the e ecom login feature and let's try to fail our test case. Instead of this, what I will do, I will just gonna re re remove this one and give my name Ranav iPhone test over automation. Right. So I think our test case should get a fail over here. And to just see the test case getting fail and check the screenshot and everything, what we're going to do, we're going to come here inside of our use block. We have trace. Let's add the screenshot. Only on failure. So let's add the video as well. Written on failure, right? And trace is already there. So I hope uh, this will gonna give us uh, a nice report of the failure. Let's rerun this two commands over here. 
Okay, CLS, right? And I'm gonna show you here the changes. Uh, can you see? I should verify the contain route. Okay, what I will do? I will just go and come here and delete it. Delete this. You don't have text. Every time it will auto uh, uh, regenerate, uh, 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 rewrite the whole thing, right? And let's just try to refill our test case to see whether our reports is getting that particular uh, feature of the playwright test or not, right? So look, it's already auto generated. And if I come here, open this feature, can you see it says runout test over automation.com, right? Okay. It navigate to this particular e commerce login page. Okay. It's uh, put this my two current credentials and then it's saying. Then I should verify URL contains it says, but think this fails. That's good. We yeah, we want to fail. Okay, that's clear report here saying this is what we it is retrieving and this is what it is we are getting, right? And if you can see, we already got our screenshot and expect to have URL, right? And one more thing. All those steps are also regenerated over here, yes. Okay, and we also got a video. Let's just try and play the video, like if it, we are getting correct video or not. So yes, look, everything looks fine. But yes, our assertion got failed. That's very good actually, guys. Okay, so I hope you like this uh, particular uh, way of writing the BDD framework, right? Let's see now next. Uh, let's go back to our uh, framework over here and come back to the feature file. And let me just uh, not feel this particular file and uh, just gonna do control C, control C, right? Everything looks fine, okay? And gonna just kill this command, CLS, right? So, guys, now let's see uh, before uh, adding our uh, page object model and all the fixture and all those stuff, let's see what some more test cases are in this particular feature file. So we're just going to use this particular logic. We are not going to cre create any other steps file and we gonna, we want something, uh, saying, uh, automation, like, uh, uh, the, we want something to be failed test cases, right? Like, um, I have one particular, uh, one particular scenario outline here. I will, uh, I'll bring this scenario outline over here. Let me just copy paste over here somewhere. Okay. So I will explain you the scenario outline. I hope some of you guys are really familiar with this particular scenario outline. Uh, it is a very good feature from the Cucumber uh, BDD framework, like uh, where you have to give a key. This is a key. Email address is a key. And these are the values of the email address. And this uh, password is a key. And these are the value of the password, right? It's a key value pair. It's something like a data driven testing. You can put n number of data over here and you can bring those, uh, uh, bring those, uh, bring those test cases, right? Okay, for now, what we're gonna do, we're just going to fail this test case as I want this particular test case to be failed. And we're gonna grab this particular contain from our test case itself, right? So for the prerequisite, uh, I'm just gonna come here and delete this. It's not mandatory, but I like to do the uh, delete option uh, so that it doesn't get any uh, mismatch. But yes, I will show you how it will create uh, to describe block for this two things. So first describe block will be uh, will be created for this this uh, feature scenario and second describe block will be created for this scenario. Okay, let me go to my new terminal. Okay, and now uh, what I will do, I will just gonna provide this to command saying npm run bdd gen and npm run test. I hope you guys now understood how we are getting this particular commands. And yes, first is npx bdd gen is running and second is npx test. Uh, reported HTML and now look at guys. These are this is generating five test cases. We didn't touch anything on our, in our steps. And if I come here in my feature file and come to the ecom login feature, can you see this is a first describe block? Verify the login, okay, and verify the user is able to log in with the valid credentials. And these are the things. And the other with describe block verify user is and uh, is not able to log in with the following credentials, right? And uh, these are all the test cases. And can you see guys? This is coming from the playwright VDD and then uh, getting from the test, right? And we also got that uh, playwright feature over here. If you just generate this BDD and run from here, still you will be able to run the your test cases, right? So this is the 
this is the power of PDD right now in Playwright. Okay. And if I come to here, the foil test cases, and can you see guys, we are already getting all the screenshots and videos and everything is fine. And now let's try to read on our test case. Uh, what I what I want, I want route account to be logging, right? So I just gonna come here. And so as we saw, uh, now let's just do one thing. Uh, this time we, uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna just change this particular statement and we're gonna generate the PTT for this particular uh, statement. So then I should verify, uh, say, user is not able to log in and URL contains uh, is this right? Uh, route account login, right? Okay, so now uh, let's first generate this particular step. So I hope you guys know how to generate the step. I have uh, thoroughly explained in my last future video. So what I will do, I will just say npm run bdd gen. Okay, this gonna this gonna provide me the missing step. Look, this is providing me a missing step. So what I will do, I'm just gonna copy the steps from here and go to my steps file. Okay, and I'm gonna press plus place this over here and I want ask which is what URL, right? Or you can say login URL. Login URL. Okay. And what I have to do, I have to pass a page first. Okay. And here what I have to do, I have to say await. Expect. Expect is a assertion page dot to have URL and here I will say new regular expressions and inside my expression I will pass in login URL right so guys I hope you got this one okay and now what we're gonna do we're just going to uh, come back to our, uh, our test case. Everything looks fine. Let me try to regenerate just the BDD gen. Okay. If this folder is generating over here, that means our test case, everything looks fine. And then we can run our test case, right? Right. We also got generated the, uh, this folder. So if you come here and check here, then you will know what is happening. So then I should verify the user is not able to log in and contain this URL. So, okay. So we're just gonna come here and re, uh, redo those two command again. Okay. So this time our all the factors cases should pass and we should get all these reports in our test case, right? It'll take a little time guys, because there are five test cases now running in parallel mode okay so look at this guys this is the beauty of the playwright bdd and everything got run and if i come here and click on show report click on show report look i have two examples example one which is this one saying uh, oh i have four examples right and i have all my test cases are passed example one two three four and this is our credential which is we are actually logging in right and what we can do we can also uh, separate this uh, from from this particular but actually it's a good it's not a good practice we can just keep it like this way um, because this says the user is not able to log in and user is not able to log in okay i hope you guys enjoyed this particular video and last two for the prerequisite for our next uh, lecture in the test column what we're going to do we're going to make three folders right so first folder will be uh, new folder say pages in which we will place our, all our page objects uh, another folder new folder say features okay this will uh, place our, all our features and another new folder say steps okay and this will place all the steps here okay and another folder a new folder fixtures right we're gonna have all our fixtures over here so guys this is the beauty also uh, keep tuned keep learning 
and yes uh, please share and subscribe this channel you will be getting more in that uh, knowledge about the playwright and uh, something new guys something new definitely new i will try to get some new concepts uh, not not the old concepts right so please try to subscribe and please give me some comments guys some comments and some feedback i'm i really your feedback is really valuable to me guys so thank you for coming to the test over automation and thank you for joining the test over community uh, automation community thank you guys see you later bye